Today I figured we could get into some of my current favorite products. So I try to do these every once in a full moon because it's like I don't do the monthly favorites thing because I figure you all won't be that interested in it. But when a few things come up time and time again that I like to use, I try to do a little current favorites video just to get you updated on what stuff I've been liking to use when I don't have to use particular things on camera. And it's rare that I don't, so that's why it's rare you get this video. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the things I have to talk about. New eyes, who this? No, um, so we're gonna start off with the um complexion things in here, so like primers, foundation, setting powders, stuff like that, and like bronzers. Then I'll um do the eyeshadow palettes, mascaras, and lip products because I got a lot of favorites to go through, y'all. Like it's it's ridiculous. I hope you brought a snack, um, because we'll be doing that. Oh, I have some tools too, believe it or not. It's like two or three tools I've been using on a consistent basis. So I figured we could talk about those as well. I'm just trying to organize this stuff here a little bit better because since the lip products are just spread all out, I'm not going to need to grab the actual face products I started off with. So I think I'll start off with the tools, then we'll go into the complexion products because it's only like three tools, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, yeah, let's get started. So one tool I feel like you'll be shocked about because believe it or not, both these tools are drugstore tools. One came from Sephora, but it's like currently on sale at a drugstore price. So I figured I'd talk about it now while it's on sale too. So I'm going to start off with the Rare Beauty Sponge. I told y'all about this. I used it today, obviously, which is a mess. Mine is so torn and abused. Look like y'all, like last night when I was washing it, this happened to it. So I have like three more in the drawer over here though that you all can't see. So, you know, um, clearly I love this sponge. I'm actually going to order another one just because I tore this one and I don't want to be without it. And while it's seven bucks, I feel like I should stock up. So this is definitely a favorite for me. I really like this sponge. I remember Jackie talking about it. And that's how I ended up buying it in the first place. So I was just like, yes, okay. Um, I definitely want to have this. So then I bought it. And it, when it was 50% off, and it was amazing. So then I think I bought another one during the sale. And then I had bought some other ones before the sale just because it was so reasonably priced. This sponge is amazing. You need to get like five of them. Clearly, I'm over-exaggerating, but you would be done, done buying sponges for a year if you did. Because you only have to replace them every three months. And that would be like um, four sponges. And I just did buy five. Um, the next brush I have is this Insta Pop Cheek Blush, sorry, Cheek Brush. I use this for blush. I have on, and out of makeup shade just getting married, I put on Construct today as my blush. But I don't really wear blush that often, but when I do, I usually reach for this brush. I used to reach for my refer number four a lot, but I find that I just like the way this perfectly sits on the cheek when I go to put blush on. So it makes it a whole lot easier, as you can see. Like I said, I used it today. So all this stuff has been used, like, literally right now when I went to put on this makeup look and I figured I would show it to you so I love this brush and it's currently one of my favorite things to use the last brush I have I feel like you should be shocked about because I wasn't gonna buy this brush but it came free with the foundation so I feel like you know what I'm talking about and I feel like it's shocking because you know it's from Morphe and I don't like anything from Morphe pretty much um but this is the Morphe E63 it came with the what is it filter effect foundation or whatever so this is um a really nice brush I used to put on my foundation today I'm wearing almost a full face of Too Faced today so I have on a new matte foundation. I have on the Born This Way concealer. I have on the um, Peach Perfect concealer. And um, I think those are all the Too Faced products I have on. But yeah, I really like this brush for foundation. I've been actually reaching for it a lot more than I expected to. Um, but speaking of brushes, I did buy some BK Beauty brushes. But yeah, this brush is amazing. And they have a brush similar to this. That's what made me think about it. But I only bought eye brushes from them. My girl, um, what's her name? Uh, Dr. Ash and her makeup has been talking about their brushes for a while and been using them for a while. So I, I figured since they had their like 30% off sale right now, I would take the plunge and go ahead and buy them. So I got like... I believe four eye brushes and I'll try those out later. Um, but those are all the brushes and tools I had to talk about. Now let's get into the face products. So, um, I got these, what is this, Burberry foundations. I remember saying, man, the Ravendall used to rave about these foundations. And I found them at Nordstrom Rack for like $15 a piece. So as you can see, this one's much darker. And this one is about my shades. So what I do is I mix these together and it gives gives a perfect beautiful look because this is the matte glow foundation and this is the fresh glow foundation so i have the shade deep brown and then the shade dark warm so i just mix them together and for 30 bucks when these were normally i think like 60 bucks a piece i thought it was a steal because i got two foundations for dirt cheap and when you mix them together they look so beautiful they just look amazing i've used them in some of my pictures for instagram but i've never actually done a video on them if you want to see a video on this let me know y'all know i love to give me a good complexion video these are actually going to go in the complexion corner even though i didn't necessarily review them for you all just because i love these products so much but these foundations are amazing they have a really nice um dark 
um, bronzer contour stick as well that I've been using that I like a lot. But um, I didn't bring that over here just because I haven't really been using it that much. I've been using a couple of other things that you'll see in a minute. But yes, these are amazing foundations that I definitely, if you can find them as your Norsen flag and you can find your color, girl, grab it, snatch it, get it together. I don't know why I pulled foundations first when I didn't pull a um, primer. I don't know what I'm doing with life. But um, I got the Pat McGrath. What is it? Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Uh, this stuff is amazing. I know the packaging is a hot mess. Like, I had opened the one they had sent me for free, and, like, the label had literally popped off both the sides, and it was just sitting there. But the product is really nice. It's just the packaging is quite less to be desired. I'm assuming that's why people don't buy it and why I ended up getting it for free when I bought my um, Midnight Sun Palette. But the formula on this is amazing. Like, this is so hydrating and so nice and so smooth on the skin. It feels like skincare as opposed to a primer, and that's one of the things I really like about it. So, I'm definitely glad to have it in my collection. It is a uh, amazing and i will definitely be using it a whole lot more but re recently i've been using all night a primer just because i have to work on the weekends now for eight hours so i want something that's going to grip and hold on to the makeup but if i didn't have to work on the weekends now i would definitely just be using this one mainly just because i love the hydrating and this um skincare formula to it um the next thing i have to talk about is the gucci foundation so i just did a review for you all on this recently i'll try to remember to link it up above if there are like recent reviews on these parts but i love the gucci foundation sorry y'all feel the hair on my arm yep there it is uh i have a shade 410w in this foundation it is absolutely amazing i mean like obsessed i love it uh but yeah um i really love the formula on this and i have a concealer that i like to use with this since Gucci didn't give us a concealer yet um but this is a really great product I sold on it for the longest time just because of the horror story I heard from Mel Thompson but when the sale came that's when I was more willing to take a risk and that way if it wasn't that great I didn't at least have to pay full price for it but it's really nice and I really like it and I've been reaching for it a lot so I've been mainly reaching for like um my high-end foundations although I do have some drugstore foundations I've been loving and reaching for I just figured I'd touch on these since these are the ones I've been using the most the last foundation I have to talk about is the foundation and concealer combo it is the beauty blender one believe it or not so I really like this foundation I have the shade 435 W and I love this foundation and I love this concealer I know a lot of people didn't like this concealer but I really like it I wear the shade 412 20 w which is deep golden i love both of these products together i actually like to use the primer with it is too it's called the leveler and they have the one i think it's called deep dark is the shade it is amazing like the combination of that with this and this concealer is just beautiful and then they have like the setting powder too when i use all these with the setting powder oh my god like the whole thing is just beautiful i meant to bring the setting powder over here but um i ended up i think leaving it over there and it's in the setting powder drawer and I'm just too lazy to get up and get it. But I'll leave the review for that as well up here because I just really love this collection as a whole. Their base products are actually quite nice. After that whole fiasco they had, they pulled it back, they got it together, and they made sure they didn't screw up again. I still think they could use some improvement like the setting powder. I think it's only one more shade darker than my shade. So maybe get a deeper one. I don't know, but because of the setting powder, um, they might have thought that that would suffice. But, you know, I guess it's a good start because I think they started off with five. Anyway, the last complexion product I have to talk about as far as like foundations and concealer goes is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer. Now, I am obsessed with this concealer. If you all haven't noticed, I use this concealer quite a bit. I just love the tone of it. I feel like it has a really nice yellow undertone to it. So even if I, um, so when I put my yellow based setting powder underneath my eyes, I feel like this just does the trick so, so nicely. And this is the shade Tan 330. I actually bought a backup during the sale because I like it that much. And I want to leave one here for the summer and then leave one at my house when I do my Instagram looks on Mondays. At least I used to try to. I don't get to do it so much anymore. But this concealer is amazing. Now, as a foundation, I don't know. I can't tell you. I know Mel Thompson said she wasn't impressed with it as a foundation and she liked it better as a concealer. So you can go off that. I know Jackie Andy just bought this in Jordan Sephora sale because she said Alyssa Ashley really likes it a lot. So I think this is a really great product. I absolutely love it. And it's still on sale right now for $27. Um, I think it's originally like $38 or $33 or something like that, which I think is an absurd amount for this. But I had to do a review for you all, so I had to buy it at a regular price. But I'm glad I got me a backup one on sale at a great discount. So happy about that. And yes, I am truly loving it. And I'm not usually big on Marc Jacob things, but you know. That one takes the cake for me. So next I have some setting powders. 
Well, I have a setting powder and I have some um, bronzers and blushes that I want to talk about. So, um, I'm obsessed with this Prime Beauty Locked in Loose Powder in the shade Golden Gal. I love this stuff. Oh my God. This powder looks amazing underneath the eyes. Um, I just... I don't know. I've been using it quite a bit. I have other powders I used to reach for, but it's like now I only want to reach for this. I decided to use the Huda Beauty one today just because I have been using this one so much in so many videos. I was like, calm down, girl. You have other powders you need to use. Let's like use some of them up too. So I calmed myself down and didn't use this today, but I normally would have this underneath my eyes for the majority of whenever I do eye looks. It's just amazing, and I definitely think you should try it out if you have not. And it's only 25 bucks, and I think they're having a Mother's Day sale right now. Don't quote me. But, I mean, for 25 bucks, considering how much all these other setting powders come cost, and that's a black-owned brand, too, a woman black-owned brand, I was definitely out here trying to support it. Y'all stuff is trying to slide off. Stuff is always trying to slide off here. I swear it gets on my last nerves. But, you know, I have a very limited amount of space when I'm sitting here, and I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting around me, so it's, it's, it's just a lot. So if you hear something slide, that that's what you heard. Something slid on the floor because it was just tired, and it, you know... It was just done. Um, so the next thing I have is some blushes. So uh, y'all know I'm not really that big on blush. But I've been reaching for these three blushes consistently. I try to reach for the blushes I know I can only wear during like the fall, winter, and spring time. So um, that's the ones that we're going to talk about now. So I have the Patrick Ta She's So LA um, blush set. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, since it's closer to my skin tone, I have to wear it now. So I've been using this one quite a bit. I think I have a little good dent going in the cream yes yeah, so they have a good little dent going on in the cream right there and I really like the powder I'm starting to lose the embossment of the P at the top if you can't tell so I really like this product I love all Patrick's blushes I'm just trying to use the ones that I know I can only use now well now I need to bring the peach one over here as well because I feel like that one's a little too light for me now but since I have She's Adorable to go along with it, I think that's why I left it at home. Because it's like She's Adorable will, will go over that cream even if the like lighter powder won't. So I'll probably just stick to um using this one here. But I really love Patrick Ta's blushes. I have just about every color he has. I will work for some of my skin tone. So I definitely recommend you try them out. But if I remember correctly, I put them in the video for the sale. So And in my video, I gave rave reviews about it when I did do a video for those products a while ago. I like his skin chisel set too but i've only used it like twice so i didn't want to like put that in this video and then you know um i've only used it two times i want to use it more just i mean i know i love it but since it hasn't been used and it's supposed to be current favorites i can't currently favor it and i've only used it twice so next i have the elf blush duels i have the shade spiced apple i really love this one i like to put the fenty glow um cream blush on and then I'll just put this one on the top and as you can see I got a good dent in there like I really like this and then sometimes I'll just go ahead and put this highlight on too which actually has a pretty good dent in it too but like for three dollars I'm like I'll definitely repurchase this again when I run out of it or I might not because it's a really good like there's a really good um cover effects one that's like closer to my skin tone that I don't have to just wear in the summertime I mean in the springtime or the fall so I might I might not I don't know I have so many blushes I doubt I will but it's not because I don't really like the product it's just more because I do so many videos I have to like keep it moving but I would repurchase if I didn't have the extensive makeup collection I have let me put it that way next and last but not least at least for blushes this is the blush couture fusion blushes from Laura Mercier now I remember too much mouth talking about how nice these blushes were a while ago I just never got around to get them because again like I said I'm not really big on blush so I got I found this at um what is it at, it was Marshall's I believe and they were going out of business well they weren't going out of business they opened a new one so it was on sale for a good price and this is one of the shimmery ones I haven't tried the matte one so I don't know but this was really nice like it was quite pigmented when when I initially put it on it's a really nice color you all saw it in a video I had like a corally fleshy looking blush on it was this one right here it's really nice the quality is really good it lasts a pretty decently long time so I might actually get a matte version of this eventually God knows when I'll probably try to run up on one on the T at a TJ Maxx and get it that way since that's how I found this one or was it Marshalls? No, it was Marshalls. But, um, yeah, I will definitely try to get more of these if I can find them on a deal. But since I don't wear blush that much, it's not that big a deal to me. But I really, really like the formula on these. And I thought it was really nice for the price it was. Um, next, we have some bronzers. So, I'm going to start off with the powder one. And then I'll go to the ones that are cream that turn into powder. So, of course, I feel like y'all should have known this was going to be in here. The Dior Forever Natural Bronzer in the shade 8 Deep Bronze. This is the darkest shade they make. 
and I think it's decently dark but I feel like they could have went one shade darker because I feel like if too much mouse tries to use this or Nima Tang tries to use this it won't necessarily work for them they'd have to put a super dark cream contour underneath and then try to um bronze with this in order to make it work and it's like for 50 bucks you shouldn't have to do all that so yeah I really like it though and it works for me and I think the formula on it is beautiful and it has a nice satin finish I don't know about the blurring properties but I had remember I told y'all everybody trying to claim that they're gonna blur everything on your face and make it disappear and it's like sis yeah yeah okay uh, the next thing i have is the nars sun kissed bronzing cream y'all really seem to like this video i had the shade casino i bought mine in nordstrom when it first came out instead of waiting for the sale just because since i have to do reviews i want to review for you all so this is what it looks like i really like this bronzer because and you all remember i panned my other original powder one so this came in perfect timing i just used this one instead i like that it is cream to powder and that it um you can put it over powder and it still works fine i usually just put it underneath though and just let it dry to um powder and then if i want an extra bronze look i might put a powder on top i have punta cana by nars in powder so i might in the summertime put that over because it's a little more red and i feel like this is a little more neutral and then in the summertime i prefer a red bronzer but i will definitely be using this a good alternative, though, is the Soul Body one. The only thing is you'll have to put a powder one on top of that, but I think that one is under 20 bucks, and this is like 38 almost 40 bucks, and it's, you know, kind of small. But if I remember correctly, like, there was more in here than there was in the um, Soul Body one, so you just have to take your pick. I really like this one, but I like the Soul Body one as well. Like, um, I actually have the Soul Body one on right now, and I just put a Sephora bronzer on top of it. I love how I'm doing a current favorites video and none of the favorites are on my face. But that's because I had them all stacked in here to make sure I did the video for you. Because I wanted to do this yesterday, but I didn't get enough time because I had to do all my Insta I tried to do half my Instagram looks yesterday and then half today. So that way I wouldn't, you know, have to do so much today and then um, try to do anything Monday. Because when I get off work Sunday, I had to go back to work Monday night. So I'm like, I didn't want to have to try to do too much. So that's why... We're doing what we're doing now, and that's why none of this stuff is on my face. Anyway, the last one I have to talk about is Danessa Myers, and I'm so happy she finally got into Sephora. I feel like she has wonderful products. I feel like she's a wonderful makeup artist, and I have been following her on Instagram for years at this point. I found out about her, of course, through um, Jackie Ina, but I really love her brand and her makeup, and I'm so glad I finally got to get some for myself. I need to go on her website and get some of the um, cream color fixes because the colors I wanted, of course, they didn't have Sephora. All the fun, bright colors Sephora decided that they didn't need. But this is the bronzing powder, matte bronzing and shaping cream. I have the shade Deep. She has three shades. I love this stuff. Like, it goes on the skin so beautifully. It blends out into a nice powder finish. It is just an amazing product like i like this one better than i like the nars one and this one is less but i think you get less product in here let's see this is 14 grams or 0.49 ounces and the nars one is 0.67 ounces so you, yeah you do get less in danessa's than doing nars but danessa's is less too if i remember correctly this is only 28 dollars and this is such a gorgeous product till i feel like you should just go ahead and get it now i will say i feel like the undertone on this is a little bit red and i'm not necessarily excited about that so this will probably be one i use more toward the summertime whereas with the nars one i could use that one now and in the fall and the winter i'll be fine so i'm glad i have things i can alternate between because the nars one i will be using most likely in the fall and winter and then in the summer i can alternate between the danessa one and the soul body one so i'm glad i have options okay um those are all of the base products. Now we're going to get into some um, eye products. So I'll start off with the mascaras and then I will go into the eyeshadow palettes and then we'll do the lips last. So I don't have that many mascaras. I only have three. So I have Marc Jacobs um, Mascara Primer. Um, sorry, Velvet Primer. I got this because I remember years ago Kathleen Lights was raving about how much of a difference she felt like this made when she put her mascara on. And she was not joking. Like when you put this on and then you put your mascara on top of it, if you have a good mascara, oh my god, it does wonders. Like I love to put this on and then these two other mascaras I'm going to talk about. And this is like my whole situation that I love. With the um, Milk Hush Mascara, I really like this. I'm trying to finish this one up. But this Bite Beauty one, it made several points. The Bite Beauty 
upswing full volume mascara this stuff is amazing i have another um miniature one of this i should have bought a full size one during the sale but i know i have so many mascaras and since i feel like this primer does a great job of everything i didn't buy another one but honey i would have bought a full size one of this especially since they had a sale on their website for 30 percent off and then i think you get an extra 15 shout out to beauty deals bff because of course we all know that's how i found that out but <laughs> these are two of my favorite um mascaras at this point i also like the fenty one and then i like to mix like this one with the lime comb one sometimes so it just depends on what mood i'm in like yesterday i did the milk makeup one and then the fenty one and then i've done the bite one in this one and i usually do the bite one with the lime comb one and sometimes i'll mix the milk one in on top when i have to reapply after i do my all my eye looks but these are my holy grail mascara situations right here i feel like i will always like repurchase this even though i've heard there's a dupe for this from essence for like five bucks according to andrea montanalo so we'll see i'll try them out and compare them and then we can see how that goes so i need to get on Sephora's, i mean alta's website and order that so we can compare it to this and see how that goes but yeah, those are all the mascaras I have to talk about. Now let's get into some eyeshadow palettes, girl. More new eyes. Who this? Okay. Uh, I swear this is the last time. Um, I have forgot that I didn't film, do my last Instagram um, video slash picture of the day. So I have to come back and do um, that. So I end up how we end up with a different eye look once more. But I swear this is the last time. I, I shouldn't have to do this anymore. I need to go, go get gas from the gas station to... Um, well, so I can go to work and then I need to actually go to work and I got to pick up something from the grocery store for my mom. So this is the last video I need to film. And the only YouTube video I had to film today, which I'm proud of myself. But let me stop reacting because I'm trying to leave at 4.30 and it's 4.05 now. Okay, so into these eyeshadow palettes. So there's a few of these I've been using quite a bit that I actually really love. And I feel like you shouldn't be surprised because they're all colorful. Um, I actually like the... Vi um. So I lied. One of the uh, products that is in this video was actually on my eyes earlier. So... The main stage palette from LA Girl. Um, I had this green shade on and this black shade on and this shimmery green shade in the inner corner for that eye look that you saw in the first part of sorry in the second part of this video. Um, but yeah, I've been obsessed with using this palette. Y'all know this is my color story right here, a blue, a green, a purple, and then they gave a little like I guess raspberryish pink type section. I guess that's what you can call this. I don't know. To me, it's more of a mauve section, which, again, is my vibe. So, it's like this whole palette was just made for me. Like, LA Girl knew that this was made for me. I mean, not really, but we're going to pretend like it is. And I've been loving this palette. The only thing I hate is since the shimmers are really crumply, like this one broke on me. And now it's all over the sheet. So, now I have to, like, go wash um, the lines for tomorrow when I get off work. But it's worth it. It's a gorgeous palette. And I got it at an exceptional deal. So, it's like I cannot complain at all. Okay. So, I had next, I have the Colored Rain palette here. The Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette. All those Pat McGrath looks I gave y'all on Instagram um, a couple of weeks ago. Came with this palette. Like, I used all the mattes from this palette. And I just used all the shimmers and special shades and um, things like that from the Pat McGrath palettes. Mothership from 1 through... What is it? 8? Yeah, I did that. But, yeah, I love this palette. Like, this... I remember I tried to do a whole series with this on my channel. Y'all wasn't really feeling Y'all wasn't watching it. I'm thinking about restarting it again, though, now that, you know, I have a little more viewership. And y'all actually, you like, watch some eyeshadow videos a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. But I really love this palette. And this is from their original formula, not the new formula they came out with. I don't know if this they changed the formula of this for um, the newer palettes that they're selling like this. So that's something you might want to reach out to the brand and ask about. Because I gave y'all... I told y'all a while ago, like, this was, um on sale. I told y'all on an Instagram story a while back. Um, they're having a 30% off sale right now though. It's not as good as the 40% off sale they were having when I showed you, but you can still try it out for 30% off. I really like this palette. I know KK, aka Color Familia, said she didn't really like it, but I really love this palette and I love to use it quite a bit. I actually paired it with a couple of these other palettes I'm going to show you too. Like for example, the um, Circle Local palette from Natasha Denona. I paired it with this, I believe, a couple of times too when I did some looks with her palette. Recently, just because I like a lot of the shimmers in here, but I feel like there aren't that many, um, what do you call it, um, colorful mattes in here that I can reach out with that'll go well with these shimmers. So I like to reach into the Colored Rain palette and use that. So whenever I can't find a colorful shimmer, a matte I need, I usually reach into the Colored Rain Vivid Pigment Shadow palette or I'll reach into the um, Viseart Grande Pro Volume 3 since it has a lot of colorful shadows in it and it costs me a whole lot of money so we don't use it. 
but yeah i've really been loving this palette um the funny thing is and i told y'all in that video like i didn't know if i was gonna get this palette because when i saw it i was like it's kind of weird and i don't know how to feel but like i ended up getting it just because it's like her first really truly colorful palette tropic was cute but the majority of shades and it didn't work for me and she only had one role that i actually liked in that palette so as i told y'all before i'm thinking about taking the yellow the oranges out of there here and putting the colors from the tropic palette i like better but we'll see how that goes i'm still trying to debate because it's like i don't want to mess it up and then when i go to reference it it doesn't have the right colors in it so we'll see um the next palette i have again i feel like you shouldn't be surprised just based upon the color stories that i like and the type of tones that i like is the club nebula palette from angeshka and kaleidos open up so you can see what it looks like i don't know for some reason i keep hers in the box and i don't keep like palettes in the box at all but i did finally throw away the plastic sleeve but this palette just speaks to me it has my blues my greens my purples and then it has like this warm tone roll from when i feel like doing a warm tone look which i've actually been trying to get into warm tone looks a little bit more i know people really like warm tone looks i'm the weirdo who likes the cool tones i'm sorry me and um my girl alicia are the weirdos who like the um <laughs> cool tones because I just read in my comment section. But um, yeah, I really like uh, this palette. I really like the uh, formula of it. I feel like the formula of this is different than the Escape Pod palette. But I feel like I told you all that before. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely different. It's not the same. And I really enjoy this palette. I need, I'm need. i just trying to decide if I want to get a backup or not. If they do do another relaunch. But it's like I don't want to be that greedy person. But I mean, I want to have it in my collection as like a like keepsake type thing and i'm gonna um necessarily use it all up so i'm debating i don't know we'll see if they have it in stock when um the garden palette comes out on i think it's the fifth or whatever i might get it then but we'll see the next one i have is the plain to makeup with yolanda um jam rock no limitations palette i really love this palette it's, it was currently it's currently on sale for 32 dollars on her website i don't know if it'll be 32 dollars when you see this video so my bad in advance i don't know why i always do that tell y'all about stuff and then you know you don't see it but i figured like since some of y'all told me in the comment section i'm like super late to the party that you would know that this is on sale because you probably follow her on instagram let me show what it looks like on the inside while i'm here rambling away uh this is what the palette looks like it's absolutely stunning i think it's a gorgeous color story it speaks to my soul and this was like the one that jumped out at me when i did go to her website i have the jam rock universal as well and i actually have the little ones coming on the way i told you all that in the instagram post today when i'm filming this on may the 2nd that I, uh, the little ones are coming and we're gonna do monochromatic looks with those i'm thinking i'm gonna put those on instagram though i don't know we'll see or i might do a video here it depends on how i feel but i really like this palette i am quite impressed and i will be buying more from the brand it's this palette is amazing and it's a black owned woman owned brand so i was excited to um contribute to sister girl Okay, so the last palette I have to talk about, I feel like it shouldn't be a surprise either because it's fully colorful and wonderful and all those good things. And I talked about it in my rank in my current palettes video recently. This is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Stacey Marie palette. So, um, I really like this palette. I was conflicted on getting it because I'm like, and Jessica, like, I didn't like the fact that it's so huge. I'm not a huge palette person, but... The color story was so beautiful, and this is when I could get on board with, like, the first two I wasn't really feeling. But this one, this one hit home and was perfect for me, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. I will say I was disappointed by the purples in this palette. I felt like they weren't easy to blend and deal with. But everything else in the palette works fine, so, I mean, it's not like I don't already have both the ColourPop monochromatic purple palettes and the Flight Club palette and the Viseart one. So, like, not using the purples in here won't hurt my soul, plus I can use the purples in the Colored Rain when I just showed you if I really want to dig into some purples and just take the shimmers out of here. But it's a nice palette overall. I just felt disappointed by the purples. But um, I still use it quite a bit, which is why it's in here. Like, look at these grungy greens. I'm disappointed in how little blue there is and how much warm tone there is because I feel like it's disproportioned a bit when it comes to that aspect. But otherwise, you know, like, it's fine. I'll survive. It's nice. Um, and I really like using it for when I want to do colorful looks. So, let's get into all these lip products, of girl. For somebody who don't like lip products, it is Alright, a bit. But I'm just showing y'all basically my um, favorite lip combos, my go-to lip combos at this point. But I did an Instagram um, story on them a little while ago. But for the people who don't necessarily follow JBD87 on IG, um, this is for you. So I'm obsessed with Proper Beauty's Prowess and Moxie right now. Moxie is at home, so that's why I can't show it to you. But I use that one a lot. And Prowess is this one. Those were the two mauve -ish type shades that they put in the collection. Y'all know I love me a good mauve moment. So, of course, I was going to have to grab that one with the quickness. And so I did. I grabbed, I think, like three 
or four of like the, I think they came out with six lipsticks they came out with. And they're currently having 40% off sale right now, which ends today. Again, don't know why I'm telling you about it because you won't see this probably till like the end of next week or something. But, you know, again, I'm sure you follow them on Instagram. So, it's not like the lipsticks are super expensive anyway. So, now they're just like bargain basement dirt cheap prices. But it's their anniversary sale from when they first came out. Apparently, they came out in um, May of 2020. So, there you go. But um, some of my favorite lip combos... This is one of them. I like to use Butterscotch from Kylie Cosmetics. And, um, it's a cream lipstick. And then I use the Barely There Gloss from um, Juvia's Place. As you can see, I've used a good little bit of this. Like the nubs going down. And we're getting to the actual K for Kylie's name. And then I just use any brown lip liner. Like I'll use um, True Brown K from her line. Or I'll use... Um, there's a Jordana brown lipstick i think it's coco loco or loco coco or something like that or i'll use like the elf brown lip liner that came in the retro paradise collection so it's like you can use any lip liner doesn't matter any brown lip liner will do like bff4 from color pop will do just fine like you know whatever um and this gloss is really nice i think they're having a sale right now because y'all know juvie's place always got some sale going on by the way i did order the juvie's place bronzers and the new lip gloss they came out with and the new lip liner they came out with so all that'll be coming soon they got two new lip glosses like the five bronzers they had an eyeshadow palette but y'all know i don't do the bronzy tones although i have to do them for work i wasn't gonna buy one just for work because i already have pretty uh, plenty of pava blue and bronzy palettes that i can use for work so i was like i'm not buying that no thank you so next one i have now some of these things are limited editions so my apologies in advance like this um nikki Nikki's Nude from um, MAC is limited edition, but this Marrakesh lip gloss from Persona Cosmetics is actually one of their latest lip glosses that they came out with, and I've really been liking this shade. So what I'll do, okay, so my card got full on me um, talking about these two, if I remember correctly. So um, like I was saying, this is limited edition, so you can't get it anymore, but this is what it looks like, and I like to put this Marrakesh lip gloss on top. It's really nice. I'm trying to debate if we should do a review on the um, new, what is it, cream bronzer that they have coming out or cream contour so let me know down below do y'all want to see that or not because like i can get it and do one i am intrigued by it but at the same time i'm like you all don't necessarily want to see it i don't want to necessarily like go out of my way to get it and then you know it was pointless because you all don't care it's not like i don't have plenty of cream bronzers or cream to powder bronzers and cream things in general so i don't want to be wasting time but i feel like you don't really care too much um next combo i have is the kirsten dominique um lipstick and nude cocoa now remember when i first tried this i didn't necessarily like it i found a way to make me like it it's still more like a concealer lip type thing i like to use her lip liner too with it i always forget the name of it though what is the name of the lip liner is it double shot it's over there I, I forgot but she has a matching lip liner that's like dark enough for my skin tone to use with this particular lipstick and then i use the tower 28 gloss and cashew on top of this and that's how i achieve like my lip color i like to have this is what it looks like um so that's how it made this lipstick work for me. I probably wouldn't repurchase it again just because, you know, um, I've, uh, I didn't like it initially. The formula of it is fine. It's just I feel like the color doesn't run dark enough. When I want a concealer lip moment, I already have other lipsticks. And plus with that one, I have to put a lip gloss on top of it to make it work. And I already own, you know, pretty plenty of proper beauty lipsticks that I can just, you know, do that with and not have to worry about a gloss so i'm trying to cut down on having to do that but the last lip set i have to talk about is the um juvia's place collection so um i use the lip liner in scorpio but i don't have that one here so that's why i can't show it to you but this lip gloss is in she's royal this was the first thing i bought along with this one drama queen when they came out with the reds i didn't buy any of the lighter reds just because um our, i only have a couple of lighter reds i really like and since it's not a color i use often enough i didn't feel the need to purchase it i don't use colors like this that often either but i wanted to get at least one of the new lipsticks to see if the formula was going to be the same i didn't know if it was going to change because of like the colors that they use but the formula is the same on this it looks nice and it looks great with this lipstick um you have seen all these lip combos so like i said if you follow me on ig because they were my ig stories but for those of you who don't i want to make sure you knew about them and what my current favorites were um Anyway, so those are all of my current favorites. I know we have been here forever. We have gone through like three different eye looks, but it's okay. It's fine. We're finally done. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I wonder what some of your current favorites are. Like, did you get some stuff from the sale that you've really been liking and using a lot from Sephora? Let me know down below. But remember, you all are diamonds, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.